Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make black forest truffles. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. If you've spent much time here in the candy kitchen, you'll know I'm a fan of chocolate and cherry. Well, the other day, I saw a black forest cake and thought, I should make a candy like that. So here we are. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own black forest truffles, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips for the ganache, two thirds of a cup of heavy cream, one half cup of finely chopped dried cherries, one half teaspoon of cherry extract, one third cup of cocoa powder, one and a half cups of chocolate for dipping, and some red sprinkles for a garnish. I also used some bowls, a saucepan, a whisk, some cling film, a scoop, some silpat, parchment paper will also work, a cutting board, and some precision dipping tools. Okay, let's make some candy. Place one and a half cups of chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl and set it aside. Heat the cream in a small saucepan until it begins to simmer. Don't let it come to a boil. Pour the cream over the chocolate and let it sit for about a minute. Whisk the mixture until it's well combined. If the chocolate chips don't melt completely, you can microwave them for a few seconds. Stir in the cherries and extract. Press a layer of cling film on top of the mixture. Let it rest until it comes to room temperature. Then place it in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Scoop some of the mixture, cover it with cocoa powder, roll it into a ball and place it on a lined cutting board. As you can see, this gets a little messy, but I totally expect it to be worth the cleanup. Repeat with the remaining filling. Return the ganache to the refrigerator for about an hour. Melt or temper the chocolate, then dip a ball into the chocolate, let the excess drain, then place it on a lined cutting board. Immediately top the truffle with sprinkles. Repeat with the rest of the truffles, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slan Shiva. Okay, these are delightful. The chocolate is snappy, the sprinkles give it a nice crunch, and the ganache is smooth and creamy. The chocolate isn't too sweet, and it's nicely balanced with the cherry flavor, which also has a bit of a tang to it. If you're a fan of the chocolate cherry combo, you really ought to try these. Heat the cream in a small saucepan and still it. and still. Yeah.